So you're probably thinking, Tanner, really? Another 250F? They suck. Well, that's like your opinion, man. I love these bikes, but this one is not for me, and we'll get into that here in a sec. So some of you saw it. I actually posted my 250F for sale. Most of last season, I spent riding the KTM. I wasn't really happy with my setup. I still had a lot of suspension work to do to get it dialed in, and instead of just fixing what I needed to fix, I got the great idea to go with a larger bike. I plan on getting a KTM 500, going through that whole process of uncorking it, all the same stuff that I did with the 450L and RL in the past, and I would ultimately just hate it. Those bikes do not like to go slow, and I like to go slow out playing around in the woods. When I had my other one for sale, my buddy out in Colorado, Aaron, reached out to me wanting to buy it for his son. He's a subscriber here on the channel, and they just got rid of their 125F, so what better progression than this? <laughs> to give him something special, something that he could be proud of. So we went out and we found a new one. Not quite new, but in really good condition. A lot better than mine. Ultimately, that bike is set up for me. It's lifted, it's sprung for my weight. I have it set up for hard enduro, so there's a lot of unnecessary weight on there. It just did not make sense to completely reconfigure this bike. Not to mention that mine has been absolutely beat on. Oh! Oh, buddy. <laughs> That's a good spot to pull over, dude. Oh my God. So I found this on Marketplace and that's a whole story in itself. I almost ended up robbing the guy. Shout out to Preston Cooper. This love is kind of dangerous. He had all of the paperwork, the original book, stock parts, everything you want when buying a used bike. I'm not really sure what's going on here. We won't give them too much crap for that. I guess it's functional. But we leave for Arizona in two weeks, so let's get started building this bike. Still one of the coolest gifts that I've ever received. Behind the scenes, 
Boom, we got you guys in the live. Vlogception. We're throwing on the dual sport. The old Tusk D-Sport, man. This is my go-to. Decent enough off-road, but it's a really good on-road tire. You get a surprising amount of grip for how aggressive that these knobs are. So shout out to Rocky Mountain, as always, showing love. Be sure to use my link. I wish I could get a bigger discount for you guys, man, but they just don't do it. We got the 130 90 18. I don't like to put the 140 on the 250Fs because the wheel is super narrow. Come on, mate. We're done.
trip so far the weather sucked but that's why we're headed out here in the first place so we'll hit sunshine eventually i think tomorrow's supposed to be 50 or 60 in denver and sunny so that'll be nice headed to my buddy aaron's we're gonna drop off the dirt bike build for his son eli pretty stoked on that he really has no idea what i did so i hope it all works out and yeah we'll get some shots of that hopefully we don't hit 8 to 16 inches of snow yeah that's what's expected so we'll see Whopper. <laughs> it's the first day that we've seen the sunshine all week. Amazing. Woohoo! Finally have sun. It's still 32 degrees, but we have sun. I love you. <laughs> Almost to Colorado. Sucking on a meat stick. Enjoying the sunshine. Get on here. I see that. That was awesome. It's a big surprise right here. The moment we've been waiting for. I hope you like it, Eli. <laughs> go outside and look. Go. Oh, go. Just go. That is. 
Tanner. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> This is yours now. What? You're using a dirt bike. What? You're <laughs> built by somebody. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Are you surprised? Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys, that wraps up the build. Everything went according to plan. Yes, it was a little bit rushed, but I'm pretty familiar with these bikes, so we were able to make it happen. Eli was stoked to get it. It was awesome to see his reaction. I gotta give a big shout out to Hyperlight Moto for being involved with this. Scott over at Hyperlight has put together a huge collection of parts for the 250F bike, so be sure to check his site out if you haven't already. Also, thank you to Rocky Mountain. We got some D-Sports on here. We did the lighting kit, bar ends, a few other things. And I believe Aaron already got a plate for the bike so it's gonna make a really versatile machine perfect starter bike this is his first full-size bike so I'm sure he'll learn a lot progress his skills these really are great machines from beginners all the way up to the more advanced riders you guys know I love these bikes they're a lot of fun and with a little bit of modification they can do some pretty crazy things but as you can see we made it, we are here out west, so expect a lot of riding content to come, a lot of adventuring. Let me know what you wanna see down in the comments below. I don't do these bike build videos that often. It takes a lot of effort. This was over five hours of raw footage condensed into a 20 minute video. So I hope it was palatable. I know some of you older folk out there probably got some vertigo watching the time-lapse clips, but I think it turned out pretty sick. So if you enjoyed, please hit that like button. Always remember to live free, adventure daily, and we'll see you in the next one.